Hello friends. So in the previous tutorials, we write hooks like this service wrapper hook and this language hook and this properties hook. So in this video, we will see how we can handle events in LifeWay 7. So for this, let me just open portal dot properties of this. So basically, we have these events like subject create event this event and this login event logout event so like before login what will happen and after login what will happen before logout after logout and and we have this startup events like application startup event so we can use these so let's create this and i'll explain later So I simply create a class in this my custom user which are using already and then provide the following annotations and the classes. So like I need to write some some event that will occur before login. So it's like pre-login event. And then click on finish. So I just copy this annotation and now here I provide the property. So this, so the property is login, event and pre. So here I provide simply inside double quotes, key and this. And now our service class is lifecycle action. So now I implement so this will give us a method which we need to override. So here I just print a SOP statement. for login so similarly you can also create a class for post login and see the output so just you need to change the event so in the case of post you will change this to post and that's it so let me just deploy this So after deploying, our bundle is started. Let me just. So now I refresh the page and look, there is nothing. Click on login and provide the username and password and click on. So as soon as you login, look, you have this message. You can also similarly write post event. So let me just create a one more. I just copy this and change the name to post login. And change this key to So now deploy. So it successfully started. Now I clear the console. So now login. And look, the messages. One is printed before login and second is after login. So you can similarly write for logout events. These are the logout events. That's it. If you like the video, you can hit the like button, share the video and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.